Hello and welcome back to my channel, Pennies and Salt. I'm Megan, if you are new here. Um, so the last video was kind of a call for help video. Um, if you didn't catch my last grocery haul, I actually chose to go without a meal plan this month, which now I'm finding out is exactly what I thought crazy for me. My brain doesn't work that way. Um, and so I just feel kind of disorganized and discombobulated and I really have learned that I definitely thrive with one piece of organization in my life and that is my meal plan. night I could not sleep and so I asked you guys for help and suggestions and so I came up with that meal plan and I will share that with you in just a second and I have you guys to thank for that so thank you. So I'm going to share that with you and then I'm also going to share a recipe with you that made me actually like meatloaf. I am not a meatloaf person but this recipe is really good and so I'm going to share it after my meal plan. So also before we get started with the meal plan, I did want to mention that on Monday, I will be um, participating in a collaboration with another YouTube friend of mine and several other ladies that is a day in the life of a homeschool mom collab. So make sure that you push that subscribe button and click that notification bell so that you will be notified when that video is right, up. So I did wanna thank you guys so much for giving me all of your input for ideas. Um, I actually took several of the suggestions that were on the board or modified some of them. I was trying to use um, what we already had on hand so I didn't have to buy any meats or anything. I will not have to buy any meats and I really, actually I don't think I will have to get anything. I think I have everything to fulfill this list. So um, anyway, so meatloaf, green beans, and potatoes chicken fajita quesadillas, spaghetti and salad. Saturday, instead of Friday night, we're gonna do our Valentine's dinner, family dinner celebration on Saturday. And I already have the stuff for that. That is um, the crab leg dinner and everything. Um, and then we, I almost forgot that we had this roast in the freezer because when I bought roast from Costco, there were two of them, so I froze one. Um, also burrito balls and a leftover night and chicken noodle soup. So that is the meal plan. I have learned I cannot go without a meal plan <laughs> at all. It just kind of rocks my world a little bit. I will put a recipe link down below to my blog. It's just a basic little blog that I've had for years and years. Anyway, but I'll put a link there with um, to this recipe. But it's just a pound of hamburger meat, a cup of Italian breadcrumbs, half of a diced up onion, two tablespoons of ketchup, a tablespoon of Worcestershire sauce. There's some garlic in there, some pepper. Then I have half a cup of milk. This is actually almond milk just because of Lily and then an egg um, and then there's like a glaze that you put over the top but like I said the link to the recipe will be down in the description below to make them into like little meatloaf muffins instead. So the next thing that I'm gonna do is actually to 
mix the glaze that's gonna go on top, but I'm not gonna put the glaze on until I'm ready to put it in the oven. So I will just put um, some wrap over the top of this and put it in the fridge and put wrap over those and put them in the fridge until I'm ready to put them in for dinner tonight. So what I am going to mix now is actually, I'm just gonna put a couple of tablespoons of, it's actually not brown sugar, you can use brown sugar, but I'm using coconut sugar. So I'm gonna do about a couple of tablespoons of that. That one was a little less, there we go. Um, and then a tablespoon of red wine vinegar. And then, let's see, put just a little bit. Okay, and then I'm going to mix in about a fourth of a cup of ketchup. So, um, and this is the ketchup that I use. We, it's just really good. So, it doesn't have any like extra yuck stuff in it. So, I'm going to do about a fourth of a cup. <laughs> I think, maybe a little bit more. All right, so let me go ahead and put that in here. And I'm gonna stir it all up, just so it doesn't stay separated the whole time it's in the fridge. So that's what it'll look like when you are done mixing it. And like I said, I'm just gonna put this in the fridge until I'm ready to put it on top. And then I'll just spoon a little bit on the top of each one of the little muffins and then bake it in the oven later. So now we are home from piano. So I am just going to put a little bit of this on the top of each one. So I have actually, like I said, really grown to love meatloaf after using this recipe. And um, I hope you guys try it. And if you do, let me know if you enjoy it. All right, so that is what they look like when they are done. I left some of my onions a little big, but um, normally I would almost mince those, but I was kind of in a hurry. But there is the little mini style meatloafs and I just baked them at 350 for about 30 minutes. So there you have it, super easy. I hope you enjoyed, please like and subscribe.